Hi Shoebox friends! Welcome back, this is Denise from D. Rogers. If you're new to my channel, welcome! And of course if you've been here before, welcome back! Today I am unboxing for a girl 5 to 9. Only one box, as you see three. If you are not aware, National Collection Week is only 22 weeks away. So for me, I got a little busy this weekend. And for this particular box, I packed three of the same boxes. They might be a little bit different in color or style, but basically the same items are in all three boxes. So I'm gonna show you the first one. And this is a Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child um, plastic shoe box that you can order online from Samaritan's Purse. And these are great to pack in. These are a nice gift unto themselves for the child. And the lids close easily. When she opens it up, she will see it says, Jesus loves you. And this is a spirit horse in the picture. So if you can guess, this is a horse themed box. This is what she will see. And right on top is her cute stuffy. This is a spirit horse. And these can be found at Walmart. I don't remember the price, they're not too expensive. And I did not buy it on sale, regular price. But they were perfect for this. And let's see if we can get him to sit up for us. There you go. And the next thing she will see is a little doll. This is called a Lori doll. She's an equestrian. And I got her at Target. She's a mini Lori doll. I got her last summer on Target toy clearance. And then right on top has a little bag that I stenciled a horse on it. And if you're interested in trying this, it's real easy. Um, I got the stencil from Dollar Tree and it actually was a unicorn. So I covered the unicorn part up to make the horse. And you just buy some fabric paint at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and a little um, brush to, it's like a sponge brush. And they're really easy to do and I really, I've enjoyed stenciling for such a long time. So I enjoy specializing the boxes. This is in her little case. These are hair supplies. This is a scrunchie. I get these on Amazon. And she has some hair clips and ponytail holders that I got from Dollar Tree. But I've stenciled for a long time and um, it's just a fun hobby. And it's become easier to do with some of the accessibility at Dollar Tree. And the fabric paint really is not too expensive. Okay, in her box she also has a water bottle. I got these from Walmart on sale last year. I think they were a dollar. Inside her water bottle she has one of these little hacky sack balls that I got after Valentine's clearance. She has one of these beautiful handmade bracelets that I showed you on my last video with the cross. These are made by Mel Studio and I will put her information in the description. She has a mini pair of playing cards that I got from Oriental Trading. She has a little purple cross that I also got from Oriental Trading. She has a pencil sharpener in there. Oh, let's see if I can get it all out. She has a larger pencil sharpener. I bought these in bulk from Amazon a while ago. She has a lip whistle, if I can get it out, that I got from Aldi after Valentine's clearance. She has a little googly eraser top for a pencil. This was a little unicorn eraser that I got from Target. She has a, an eraser and one that almost dropped off the table, a little unicorn pencil topper. 
Those are for RainaGettys.com. Another eraser. And in the bottom, she has her glue stick and her lip balm. And her lip balm actually has a horse on it. So that was her water bottle. Okay, she has two pairs of underwear in this organza bag. I got this from Walmart on clearance. She has a set of 24 crayons from Crazy Art from Walmart. She has a bar of soap and a soap bag that I get on Amazon. And in her bag, she has a nail clipper and a cute little nail file. I got these at Marshall's. And she also has band-aids. These band-aids were from Target and they are actually spirit horse band-aids. I kind of wanted to keep them in the box because the box was so cute with the logo on it, but it's, it fits better if I took them out of the box. Okay, she has two little spirit horse figurines and a corral for them. I think I got these all at Walmart and Clarence at one point or another. Let's see if they'll sit up for us. There we go. She has a pair of scissors. There's a little sparkly bracelet I got from Michaels. She has her pencil case I got from Amazon. And in here she has a red, a blue, and a black pen. And then she has several pencils. Some are sharpened, a few are not. And she has this unicorn pencil and some pencil caps. She has a pair of socks that I got from Walmart. She has a bag to put her things in that of all places I found at Trader Joe's that has a horse on it. She has a giant coloring and activity book. I don't remember where I got this from. It's either Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or Walmart. Each box has a different coloring book in it, but they are all horse theme related. She has a composition book. This is a wide world composition book that I got from Walmart. I actually included the little box that the doll, the horse came in because it, when it goes back together, you can put it back together, it makes a little barn for the horse. So I thought she might like that to play with it. She has one of those pop open frisbees that you get from Amazon. She has a little, um, like a cross stitch embroidery set that I make. And I just cut out hearts from felt and I put two needles in there. And then I put in two of these little, you can buy this mesh at the, at Michael's any craft store and I cut up two squares and then I put some embroidery floss in there. And she can make her own design uh, or she can do a heart. I don't, I think that that's a good activity for a five to nine. I know that when I was that age, that's when I first became interested in embroidery and cross stitch and things like that. So I think that's a good activity for them. I also included a bead kit and I made this bead kit. I'm going to show you. If you shop at Dollar Tree and you buy the nails and screws, which I do buy, what I do is I combine these. So let's see, actually here's the nails and here's the screws. I combine these into one package and then that will leave me with this for my boys boxes and this to make bead kits out of. So I make the bead kit, I put a little label on it that I just get off of um, clip art online and I include beads and some string in there for her and it fits very nicely in a shoe box. 
she has a comb. I got these on Amazon. She has a face mask that I got from um, Old Navy. <laughs> and this has uh, unicorns on it. Had to think about that. She has a purple and white washcloth. These are those very soft washcloths. I found these on Amazon. She has a toothbrush with a cap that I got at Dollar Tree. It's a reach toothbrush. And an eight inch ruler that I got on a special deal from following Pencil Granny and Friends. I got a uh, big set of, I think it was 50 or 100 of these to use in my pencil packs. And I also use them in my shoe boxes. And it does have centimeters on it. And at the bottom, she has this really pretty shirt of a horse. I got it at the children's place. It is a size 10. And I actually like sending a size 10 in five to nine boxes, um, also depending on the brand. But I think it's um, OK to be a little bit big and also that she can wear it a little bit longer. So I really thought these were beautiful. They came in three different colors. And like I mentioned, it's hard to find horse shirts. Lots of unicorns, but not many horses. Okay, the bottom of her box, she just has this little spirit card that was in with one of her um, figurines. She has some horse cards that have information about different types of horses. Icelandic, Arab, uh, Shire horse, and even has a unicorn in this one. These I found at the Dollar Tree, and I put a few in each of the boxes. She has some fun horse stickers that I got on Amazon. They just make funny faces with them. And they're all horses of different colors. And then she has some spirit stickers. And I got these from Walmart. And then she has a whole sheet of spirit lenticulars. These were actually around during Valentine's Day, and I got them uh, after Valentine's clearance at Walmart. And then don't forget your card and your picture, or your letter and your photo of your family to your recipient. Really one of the most important things to put in your box besides prayer. Okay, so that completes my five to nine girl horse themed shoe box. I'm going to show you the one difference in this box. Uh, her horse was different. She has a Webkin's horse instead of the spirit horse. I actually got these off of eBay. And her little bag that I stenciled has a different, it's still a horse, just a little different pattern. The shirt is a different color. The socks are a different color. But everything else was the same that I packed in this box, in these three boxes. So I really had fun doing these boxes. I still have one to do a horse themed box for a girl two to four. And then I have one more to do for a girl 10 to 14. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope it gave you an idea or two or inspiration for your shoe boxes. Please feel free to comment or ask any questions. I always enjoy reading them. And thank you for watching. You have a blessed day. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.